Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I thought we'd make this fun little robot card. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be using some Lawn Fawn stamps and dies today. We're using that robot and that little meter that goes on the center of the robot. And this is from the Charge Me Up stamp set. And for paper, we're going to be using the Strathmore Bristol Smooth 100 pound cardstock. So I've got my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. This is a permanent ink. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp these robots uh, six times to create the rainbow of colors. And then I'm going to stamp that little meter six times as well. So I've got my rainbow of colors in geranium red, scarlet red, yellow, may green, cornflower blue, and violet. And these are the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. And I'm also going to be using the gray in order to just take down the color just a little bit to make these robots look a little bit more antique looking. So for all of these robots, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Again, these are the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. And I'm going to be using my Blender Pen as well. And so I'm just going to Take that color and put it all around the edges so it'll be darkest around the edges. And then I'm just going to pull that in towards the center. And just clean off your pen if you get a little bit too much color there. And now I'm going to come in with the gray on all four corners of the face here. And just pull that in as well. So I'm just adding a little bit of the gray and then just kind of blending it all the way around. And again, keep cleaning off your pen if you feel that it's getting a little too dark. I just didn't want these robots to be a real vibrant color. I wanted to tone them down just a little bit. So for the centers of their bodies, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to start off with that red and just kind of pull that in and then add another layer of it. So I'm just using that same color marker to create a little bit more of a darker shadow there. And then I'm coming in with the gray again, and then I'm just going to pull that in. So you can use the blender pen. Uh, you can clean it off on your scrap paper, and you'll know it's clean when it goes clear. And you can also use it to remove some ink like you see me doing here. And for the little feet, I'm just going to put a little of that red at the bottom, pull it up towards the top, add a little bit of gray, and then blend those two together. Now with light gray and gray, I'm going to finish coloring in these little robots. And I'm doing the same thing, starting with the lighter gray and then adding a bit of the darker. I really didn't need to do the little antenna on the top because I later on I'm going to be putting some Nouveau drops there. But I wasn't sure at this point, so I went ahead and colored all of that in. And then for the meters, I'm using those same two colors again. The two shades of gray, just putting a little of the darker color at the bottom and then pulling it up towards the top. So I colored all of those in the exact same way. And here I'm adding a little bit more of a shadow here. So now I'm going to take my coordinating dies Add a little bit of purple tape there to hold those in place, and I'm running those through my Sizzix Sidekick machine. Now for the meters, I'm just going to cut right around these up to the black line using my scissors. I didn't want to cover the entire center of the body. There is a stamp and die that will uh, cover that entire center, but I wanted the body to be red as well, so I'm just cutting out the meters separately. And you can see that I have all of those colored in and assembled. So now grabbing this frame here and some Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock, this is the outside in stitched rectangle stackables die and this is the largest one. I'm running that through my die cutting machine. And now I'm going to take the sunrise backdrop and again run that through my machine using some Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock as well. So this is a nice heavyweight cardstock and I'm just going to pop out all those little pieces. You can save those for something else if you want to. Then with squeezed lemonade and ripe persimmon, I'm going to start to create the background here. And I'm going to place that squeezed lemonade all over this panel. I'm going to add a nice even coating of that all the way around. And then with my ripe persimmon, 
I'm just going to add a little shadow up above that sunrise there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that ink all the way around here. And then I'm going to blend that up into the squeeze lemonade. And then not adding any ink to that applicator for the squeeze lemonade, I'm just going to blend those together a little bit more. Now I'm going to take my Distress Sprayer, and this just has water in it. I'm going to spritz this with a little bit of water, and that's going to give us that nice spattered effect. And then for a little more texture, I'm going to take that ripe persimmon, and I'm placing some down on my glass media mat. I'm spritzing that with a little bit of water, and I'm taking a small paintbrush, and I'm going to spatter this entire panel. And you'll see how pretty this looks behind that sunrise. So I'm going to heat set that with my heat tool. And you can see that there. So now to do the sun, I'm going to go back to the ripe persimmon. And I'm going to add that all around this sun. And then up into these rays a little bit. So I'm just adding a nice even coating of that. And then I'm going to take the squeeze lemonade and I'm going to start from the outside and work my way in. So I'm going to kind of butt those two colors up against each other and then just blend them a little bit here. We'll be doing some more blending here in a minute. So I'm just going to lightly blend those two together. And now without adding any ink to the right persimmon applicator, I'm just going to continue blending those. So that's going to sit right in front of that spattered panel there. So for this bottom part, I'm using the simple stitched hillside borders to create a little bit of a grassy border. And I'm going to take that one that has the largest arch on it. And then I'm taking a piece of scrap paper here. This is the Strathmore Bristol Smooth. And I just want to have the stitched edge on the two sides and on the bottom. And this will be for my little grassy border here. So I'm running that through my machine. And now I'm going to die cut that border. And I'm just going to try to figure out approximately where I want that to be. So once I've determined that, I'm going to tape that down with a little bit of purple tape and run that through my die cutting machine. So that gives us a nice stitch border all the way around this little grassy border. And I'm going to use Twisted Citron and Mowed Lawn to do my blending here. And I'm starting off with the Twisted Citron. And these inks I'm using today are the Distress Oxide inks from Tim Holtz. And they blend really easily. It's really simple. It's like butter. It really just blends together. So you don't have to be real fussy. I'm just going to add a little bit of the mowed lawn up at the top. And then with my Twisted Citron applicator without adding any ink, I'm just going to blend those two together. And then right along that top edge, I'm going to add a little extra of the mowed lawn. Going back and doing the same thing we did before, I'm going to spritz that with a little bit of water. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the mowed lawn spattering. So I'm placing the mowed lawn on my glass media mat, spritzing it with some water, and then I'm going to spatter that with this small paintbrush again, just like before. And then I'll heat that with my heat tool as well. So that'll sit right here on our panel. But that little bit of white is showing at the bottom, so I'm just going back to that ripe persimmon and I'm going to add a little color right there at the bottom. So now I'm going to grab this alphabet set. This is Kohl's ABCs, again from Lawn Fawn. And I'm taking some black licorice cardstock. This is a 100 pound weight cardstock. And I'm going to just spell out the word hello. So I'm going to die cut three sets of the word hello 
and I'm running that through my Sizzix Sidekick machine and then I'm going to glue all three of these together. And that's going to give us a nice thick embellishment here. I'm using my glue tube to glue all these pieces down. And you just want to take a second or two to make sure you line those up properly. So I did that for all of my letters. And you can see those there. And you can see how nice and thick those are. So now I needed a frame for my sentiment. So I'm going to use this rectangle from the scalloped box card pop-up die set. And then for a sentiment, I'm going to use Let's Hang Out. This is from the For You Dear set from Lawn Fawn. Now I'm going to ink these up again using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I want to ink this up and stamp it right at the top of this rectangle. So now I can start adding these panels together. I'm going to use the glue on the inside of this uh, frame. So I'm just putting it on the inside of that stitch line and then a little bit on the sun there and a little bit on each of these rays just to keep it flat. So now I'm just going to place that right in the center there and glue that down. Now for the grassy border I want to make sure I add my sentiment first. That's going to just be sticking up out of that little grassy border there. So I'm going to go ahead and center that and glue that in place. And now I can glue that entire piece to my, the front of my card. Just making sure it's centered here. And when I glue that down, I want to make sure it's just above that stitch line on the bottom and on the two sides. So you can see that there. Now this is the same size as an A2 size card, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm using my Lawn Fawn one quarter inch double sided tape to tape these two together. Now I'm gonna add my little robots in rainbow order here. And I'm just going to glue these flat, but you could certainly pop some of these up if you prefer that. And I just kind of want to stagger where these are, some in front and some kind of behind the others. Just be careful when you get to the middle too. You want to make sure their little antennas don't get in the way of your sentiment there. I'll show you a card, another card at the end where I did, used a different sentiment and I did create a little higher grassy border. So it gave me a little bit more room to place these robots. So you can play around with that as well. And keep in mind, all of the supplies I'm using in today's video are listed below and they're also listed on my blog. So I'll just continue gluing these down. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is attach the hello sentiment up above on those rays. So I've got those here and I'm just going to kind of figure out where I need those to be. And then I can go ahead and glue those in place as well. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. And then I'm just going to place an acrylic block on there just to let that dry. So I finished gluing all of those. And now I'm going to use my Jelly Roll white gel pen. And I'm just going to add a little bit of a highlight to each of these letters. That will just make them pop out a little bit more. And then I'm also going to add a highlight to all of these little robots. And I did that for all of them. And then I decided to add three little dots to each of their cheeks as well. 
and a little highlight on the top of each of those meters. Now with my Nuvo drops in the silver lining, these are the crystal drops, I'm going to add that little bit of silver right at the top on each of these antennas. And that's going to give us a little bit of a dimension there. And then with my Lawn Fawn glitter pen, I'm going to go ahead and glitter all of these little meters as well. So here you can see we have the completed card. And I just think these little robots are so cute. And you can see all the dimension we have there. And then I wanted to show you the second card I made. This says, You Color My World. And I thought I would give this one to my husband for uh, Father's Day. And that sentiment came from the Lawn Fawn set. This one here from the Starry Backdrop set. So that's our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit me at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.